Hey guys, it's Levi from The Rag Company with Dylan from Rupes here. We're actually doing this right before our first live workshop and Rupes demo class that we're going to be doing here at the uh, Pretty cool. Rag Company in the studio. Yeah. So, a uh, quick little tech tip for those of you that have always wondered and maybe you email Rupes many, many times. We want to just get it out today. How do you prime? the pads. It's not the same as everybody else teaches you to prime. And right. That's one thing to remember because as we've talked about in all the videos that we're going to be releasing after this, our foams and our compounds are pretty unique because they have to be for the movement of the tool. And they are proprietary. And they are proprietary. We make our foams in-house. So with our foams, they're really rigid. They have a kind of a very specific pore structure. And most people freak out when they feel these. They yeah. feel so rough. And yeah. this is the medium and it's like, I mean, it's, it's stiff. It's a stiff pad. So in order to get the maximum performance out of these pads, we one, need to get the compound spread around, but we also need to introduce some heat. Right. So the very specific process we recommend when you prime our pads, it's a little bit different than what most people are used to. So I'm gonna be working with, like I said, our green foam, which is medium, and our cores, which is our medium dual action compound. So you'd probably be, you know, most guys, it's hose it on, spread it around, make yeah. sure every square inch is get covered. Get the butter knife out, yep. slather it on. We recommend that with a microfiber, but not with these. <laughs> so with this, and people are usually shocked because the system is so economical in terms of how much compound it consumes. So some pea size drops. Pea size drops, about four. I'm gonna wipe a little bit extra off my finger on there. Couldn't hurt, right? That's right. So now the key here is, is we're trying to introduce that heat into the foam before we start using it. And this is only, you're only gonna do this as your very first step when you're starting the process. From this point forward, you're only gonna add one or two drops depending on the size of the panel. So I'm gonna take this with our four drops. To find a nice flat surface, doesn't really matter where it is, but you want somewhere flat, so a hood always works. And we're working up here so it's easier for the camera to catch. And I am gonna run this tool down to speed one, the lowest speed setting. Now this machine, or this vehicle we're doing it on has 210,000 miles. Yeah. We're not trying to polish the paint at the moment, we're just trying to prime the pad. Yep. So that we can go through the system on it. Yep. So So now that I've got it on the paint, I'm not gonna, you can do a little wiggle if you want to get started to spread around, but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little bit more than normal pressure to the tool. I'm gonna hold it in place for about a 15 to 20 second count. That friction, the movement's gonna get the compound spread around, but it's also gonna introduce that heat we need into the pad. So now, you can see we started to move out from those drops, it's starting to spread around. Now I'm ready to actually start polishing. So this is where I'm gonna add about the same size as I did before. Two more drops. Don't waste my compound, wipe a little extra on there. And now I'm ready to proceed with polishing. You can feel this, feel how much softer that is now. Oh yeah, yeah, it's that heat helped break that foam down. And, yeah, and so it's a little get more it really it's still really rigid and you still have the rigidity of the back yep. of the foam, but the face starts to soften up, the cell structures are open, the compound's starting to migrate. Now you're ready to go. So you can see this is completely different than how yeah. most people teach you to prime. Yeah, most, uh, you know, some guys are like spray waxes, some guys are like, put the compound on after you get the spray yeah. wax on, make sure it's Rub fully it loaded, in. pat it down, break, get it in there. Other ones are one spray. Uh, so each pad combination uh, and compound is different. Mm -hmm. You can't do the same for everything. Yeah. So yeah, and, and it's really because of the way our system is structured. It's it's it, you've got to depend on the foam to a certain degree. And if you put too much compound in, what you're over you're over lubricating. Right. So the foam is ineffective, and our foams are such an integral part of the system. Bigfoot is a tool and a system. It's right. a system of everything with compounds and pads. So to maximize the performance of this, this is how we coach you to do it. A lot of people have a rough first experience with ours and they assume, oh man, this stuff isn't any good. Right. And then we coach them through the proper way and they go, oh dude, so much less compound and the results are a lot better. Yep. Yep. Well, so there you have it. Nice and easy. Simple process to break in the foam for the Rupes foam as well as the Rupes compounds mm -hmm. on a Rupes polisher, courtesy of Dylan from Rupes. Hey, we got a class to teach, dude. Let's go. Let's do it. Stay tuned for more videos right here on the Rag Company YouTube channel.